Victor na akilisha lo. Are we okay? Adequate deployment of our gun boats. What to 15 in science? So it might be 15 and more, but nothing less than 15 gun boats will be deployed. Vehicles, gun boats. I said they have on ground so that we can have easy mobility for our personnel that will be taken to certain places, movements, even escort duties. We have assigned men to escort sensitive electoral materials, to escort NEC officials to escort accredited observers, both international and domestic, to even move with some of the uh, accredited gentlemen of the press. So we are taking note of the aspect of escort. The aspect of guard duty is even there. We are to protect INEC offices, sensitive areas, facilities, so that these places will not be attacked in any way. So the, the 220 vehicles we mentioned, the figure is just an additional vehicles to support these three states, including lorries, uh, buffalo patrol vans, and pickup vehicles. Then, these commands have their vehicles to use for this assignment. Headquarters is just sending a support to them to assist them. Apart from the vehicles in these states, don't forget that some of the uh, other states across the country have been ordered to send men and logistics to still support these states. We have shared those other states that are not grossly involved in these elections to assist them in other in the three concerned states. We have some states that will go to Baeza states to assist them, men plus logistics. We have some commands that will proceed to Kogi State to assist them with logistics and men. And we have some uh, commands that have been directed to proceed to Baeza, Baeza, Imokogi, all these three states, they have men from other states that are not having elections. We have the, we are, we are leveraging on the fact that the, is, these elections are off-season off -season or off-cycle elections affecting only three states. So other states that are not grossly involved in these elections, we are using them to support the three states. So we have enough, enough personnel deployed for this assignment, and we have enough logistics deployed for this assignment. We are, IDP has other deployment of helicopters to the three states. I know we have nothing less than five here worthy and serviceable helicopters for this assignment. One to be stationed in each of the states, the remaining two for movement. People will continue to have movement from Baesa to Kogi, to Imo. These two choppers will be for area patrol and for movement of officers, or in case there's any emergency, we're going to use these two uh, additional choppers to help our operatives on the field. Meanwhile, each of the choppers will be detailed in each of these states. Baeza is going to have a chopper to itself, Imo is going to have a chopper to itself, and Kogi is going to have a chopper to itself. So the IDP has done this, and the payment of allowances of personnel, we've gotten approval from the government for the payment. I'm sure, and we are paying directly to the accounts. We are not giving to any head of department or to commander to pay his men. We are using their salary account to pay this entire, to pay this money. And let me clarify, those who have not been deployed for this special duty, you will not expect any allowance. If you are not part of those deployed for these offices of circle elections, as a police personnel, don't expect a dime from the police. It is it's not money that is going to everybody, flat rate to everybody, no. It's basically special duty. We have men um, deployed for this assignment, dedicated for this assignment, these are those that will enjoy these payments. So that officers and men will not be disturbing and calling, or some of them, they always rush to some bloggers claiming that the IDP is owing us, IDP is knowing us. Let us be very sure of this, and that's why I'm making this clarification. It's basically for those of the feed and those who have been deployed for these off-circle elections 
in Baeza, Kogi, and Imo State, respectively. Of circle elections in Baeza, Imo, and Kogi State. These elections have utmost priority to our democracy, and the Nigeria Police Force is fully committed to ensuring that they are free, fair, secure, and credible. The Nigeria Police Force has undertaken comprehensive preparations to ensure the success of the upcoming elections. We have strategically deployed our personnel to these states to provide security and maintain law and order throughout the electioneering process following training on professionalism, neutrality, and best practice carried out for officers and men deployed for the election duty. Our objective is to create an environment where all citizens can exercise their right to vote without fear or intimidation. Similarly, the Inspector General of Police has severally and continuously emphasized the dedication of the Nigerian Police Force, particularly under its watch, to the principles of free, fair, secure, and credible elections. The Nigerian Police Force will play a pivotal role in safeguarding the democratic process and upholding the integrity of these elections as we are committed to ensuring that every eligible voter can participate in the electoral process with their fear, without fear or hindrance. In the pursuit of our commitment to neutrality and part of the bid to enhance the supervision of the elections, the Inspector General of Police has deployed Deputy Inspectors General of Police, DIGs, to oversee the security arrangements and ensure the elections run smoothly in the respective states. This added layer of supervision is intended to guarantee that the elections meet the highest standards of transparency and credibility. Therefore, the Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of the Department of Training and Development, DIG Frank Emeka Umba MNI, has been deployed to oversee elections in Nemo states. DIG Abusani, in charge of the Department of Force Intelligence to Kogi State. And DIG Daniel Sokari Pedro, PSA Dagal MNI, in charge of the Department of Information and Communication Technology to Bayelsa State. In a bid to ensure a smooth electioneering process, process, the Inspector General of Police has ordered the distribution of an additional 220 operational vehicles, including water cannons, armored personnel carriers, gunboats for riverine areas, helmets, bulletproof vests, tear gas canisters, and so on to the three affected states to intensify security arrangements for the elections to augment the already deployed assets. Also, the Inspector General of Police has ordered the restriction of all forms of vehicular movement on roads, waterways, and other forms of transportation from 12.01 a.m. to 6 p.m. on election day, that is 11th of November 2023 in the affected states, with the exception of those on essential services, such as INEC officials, accredited electoral observers, ambulances responding to medical emergencies, firefighters, and the media, etc., etc. The order which is part of measures in place to ensure a safe, secure and conducive environment for the conduct of elections is aimed at ensuring public order management, the safety of electorates, as well as assisting the security agencies in effective policing, thereby preventing hoodlums and criminally minded elements from disrupting the electoral process. On that note, residents and travelers in the neighboring states should note and plan their movements to avoid any untold hardship during the election period. Similarly, the Inspector General of Police sternly warns all security aides and escorts to desist from accompanying their principals and politicians 
to polling booths and collecting centers during the election, as any fund flouting this directive will be severely sanctioned. He emphasizes that only security personnel specifically assigned to election duties are to be seen within and around the designated election booths and centers. Also, the ban on the unauthorized use of sirens, revolving lights, covered number plates, and tinted glasses is still in force, and violators will be sanctioned appropriately. All states established and home security outfits or organizations, quash security units, and privately honed guards and security outfits are also barred from participating in election security management on 11th of November, 2023. While emphasizing with well many residents of the affected states on the inconveniences the restrictions may cause, the IDP urges all active electorates to be law-abiding and turn out en masse to exercise their franchise. He, however, wants that the force will deal decisively with any individuals or groups that might want to test a common resolve and might to ensure a peaceful election. The IGP therefore enjoins all electorates and party supporters and leaders to shun vote buying, vote selling, hate speech, misinformation, and disinformation, snatching of ballot boxes and other criminal acts as the force and other security agencies we leave no stone unturned to ensure in ensuring that all violators of Eastern laws, most especially the Electoral Act 2022 as amended, are caused to face the full rot of the law accordingly. The Nigerian police force is aware that it is essential for citizens to have quick access to security agencies in case of emergencies or to report any security concerns during the election period. Therefore, we have established dedicated emergency contact numbers that the public can use to reach out to the joint operation rooms for the elections in each state. These numbers are Joint Operation Room for Imo State 080 3400 or 081 136 59 301. Joint Operations Room for Kogi State 070 38 32 84. Joint Operations Room number for Bias State 070 34 57 8208 and 091 673 9, Other numbers that will be used for this special assignment will be rolled out as soon as they become active by various commands concerned. In conclusion, the Inspector General of Police, in his quest for secure elections, has left no stone unturned to ensure that the Nigerian Police Force is well prepared to protect the electoral process in Bayesa, Imo. Kogi State and Kogi States. He assures that the Nigerian Police Force will continue to uphold the rule of law, ensure the safety of all citizens, and maintain our neutrality throughout this electoral exercise. The IGP, IGP Olukayori, at the Oluya Beto Kopi at the NPM, urges the public to cooperate with the police and other security agencies, report any suspicious activities and exercise their democratic rights peacefully. Let us all work together to make these elections a resounding success, a testament to the strength of our democracy, and a shining example of free, fair, secured, credible, and even acceptable elections in Nigeria. In another development, the Nigerian police was one to one against name dropping, impersonation, and other lawful activities. The Nigerian Police Force remains deeply concerned 
about recent reports concerning the activities of certain individuals who are operating as middlemen, acting as negotiators on behalf of individuals involved in criminal activities currently in police custody. These individuals have been exploiting the names of high-ranking police officers, including that of the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Adeolu Egberto Kompiedil MPM, to intimidate and coerce others. The Nigerian police force strongly encourages all Nigerians to be vigilant and exercise discernment when approached by anyone using the names of senior police officers as this practice not only undermines trust in the Nigerian police force, but also poses a significant threat to the integrity of our justice system. Furthermore, the force wishes to emphasize its unwavering commitment to the high standards and principles upon which the Nigerian police force is built. We firmly caution members of our own ranks who may consider colluding with these middlemen to compromise the standard of the police force to refrain from such actions immediately. It is essential to highlight that any officer found engaging in such activities will face severe consequences. The police force remains a strict zero tolerance policy towards any actions that could tarnish her reputation or compromise the administration of justice. Finally, we reaffirm our commitment to upholding the highest standards of integrity and professionalism within the Nigeria Police Force. We urge all Nigerians to have faith in our justice system and to report any suspicious activities to the appropriate authorities, most especially using our already published contacts. Your cooperation and vigilance are essential in helping us maintaining the integrity of our force and the justice system in Nigeria. Thank you.